hello welcome back to the channel and what was up until about 30 seconds ago gloriously sunny peak district oh, we're currently stuck under that filthy dark cloud there filthier than a badger's toenails but the good news is all around that dark cloud something a bit more seasonal a bit more summer like beautiful so we're back out in front of a wild camp it's been a few weeks since the last one and this one about falling over it's definitely needed it's been a bit weird with your weather today because it's been all this week as is tradition hotter than a greg's pasty all week while you're stuck at work and then you come out and it was it's been really really windy today i was expecting it to be horrendous up here well, it's not bad, it's really died down. Sun's out. I think it's thought about raining. Let's we'll give it dry, so we're all good. Really looking forward to this one. I apologise if I'm looking a little bit redder than normal. I've not gone all alcoholic on you. I'm just four days after apocalyptic sunburn, and I mean proper, proper sunburn. You know when you think you're alright and you've got plenty of plenty of factor 50 on and stuff. You've never got enough on. So I spent most of most of yesterday and today peeling. Lost about three stone in skin. I'm surprised I don't look like I had a face transplant, the amount that's come off. So remember kids, get that factor 50 whacked on. Who just told? Right, home for the evening. I was going to go to, for those of you that know it, there's back tour. You can see the tree pillar poking up above it. I was going to go the other side, but there's somebody down there camping already, so. I've seen this, I've seen this spot a few times, so it's a decent alternative. Still getting the views. So peaceful. It's really, really sheltered down here as well. The wind's coming from that direction, but it's quite calm. Look at these rocks. Makes you wonder what creepy crawlers and gremlins are lurking underneath here. I mean, you can fucking stay there, at least for tonight anyway. Alright, we're gonna get some tea on and then we're gonna go for a snack round and see what we can see. There we go. What a view. This has got to be one of the most underrated. See, even sheep love it, look. <coughs> Excuse me. This has got to be one of the most underrated places in the Peak District, this. It's full 360. Over that way, Sheffield. It's looking back towards 
uh, Castleton, Mamtor, etc. That way, it's a perfect place for a sunset. That's what we're stopping for tonight. Down there. That sky, amazing. That's some type of film. Been trying to take kind of push back down there. He's just been up here, hoping for a sunset. He's heading down into the Derwent Valley. And there's a guy just down there somewhere camping as well. Magical place. We've got Sheffield just over there. In the distance there you can just about make out Manchester on the horizon one of my favorite things about all these amazing rock formations is some of the carvings that's in it and I've, I've shown this on my one previous video but it's always worth another always worth another look you can actually pick it up better on the camera than you can to naked eye maybe Jack engaged here. I think it says to be married. Oh no, March. March. M A R C H. Can't make that out. And that's 19. Is that weather? I'm going to say 1913. One, nine, thirteen, nineteen, thirteen. So it's about like 111 years ago. Amazing, really. Over all the time that these rocks have been stood here, all the stories I've got to tell, all the people that's been up here. It's like that. A couple getting engaged. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Everything's got a story, hasn't it? Right. I'm starving. This is my story for today. I'm starving. I need a drink. Let's get some food on. So tonight we've sacked off the usual, ignore my chicken legs, sacked off the usual steak and stuff. I'm going for student, student's favourite pot noodle. Mini party rings, because we're five years old. Mr Kipling's finest. I've got some other bits and bobs in the bag as well. So we are living the dream under a beautiful but angry sky this is living I don't care who you are this is good for the soul you need, a lot, you need some of this in your life perfect got to film myself having my tea aren't I? just in case you've never seen anybody eating a pot noodle before with a bright orange spork in June Intent in the bobble hat. Hey, can't whack it, can you? Perfect. So I've had to come up on the rock, come up on our rock, and that was over camped down there. Look. To grab the last bit of sunset. Beautiful. Look at that sky. There's our neighbour filming up on a trick point. Ready just there. That's the guy that's camping on the other side of the back door. Stunning. But it's properly cold now. It's properly chilly. That wind's freezing.
Beautiful. I'm going to break up this silence a little bit. I'm going to watch um, this glass and brew started tonight, isn't it? So I can try and find that on your BBC. Find it. Get it away. Right, I don't care what anybody says. I know they're aimed at kids. But these are top tier in the biscuit world. They're up there. They won't be there with fig rolls. Perfect. It's so peaceful out here. Just a little bit of breeze rustling on the tent. The odd bird. You should bottle this on the NHS and give it to you. So I think a lot of people are quite funny, aren't they? You know, because the whole point, well, one of the whole points of coming wild camping is to get away from it all. And you do, you do get away from it all, but obviously, nowadays we've got technology, haven't we? We can have a phone, watch telly, watch a film, Listen to music, whatever you want to do. I think there's a few people that kind of frown upon it. It's weird. I don't. I don't understand. It's your time. It's your camp. You know, why should you just sit here and, as amazing as it is, just sit here in silence and. You know, it's it's odd. It's odd how people, how people's views on things are different. And today, it's your camp. It's your time. If you want to stick it, stick some telly on, stick some telly on, listen to some music, read a book. Do it like. Do what you like. It's your camp. That's how I see it. I, mean, I sat here now for an hour watching this, watching the sun go down. I'm gonna stick some telly on, listen to some music maybe. You know, for half an hour before I go to bed. Do what you like. It's your time. It's your camp. Don't worry about anybody else. Morning. 17 minutes past five. I don't ever want to get up out of here because it is so comfy. Unbelievably comfy. Even though my sleeping bag's under 180 in the middle of the night and it's I've got the hoodie bit up top. Mad about it because every time I come out for a camp, I'm keeping it better, or at least as good as I do when I'm at home. It's mad. It's not exactly, it's not exactly the most comfiest place in the world, but I think I've got my sleep system absolutely bang on. It was still morning, this is. I had a breath of wind. And just nature's alarm clock. I think there's a curlew over there somewhere. There's a grouse out here shouting about a minute ago. Beautiful. But it's fresh, Jesus Christ, man. Cold. Alright, that's us. Packed. No trace left. Apart from memories. Farewell, big rock.